Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Abe with BeatStars. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to set up your Facebook pixel so you can start tracking conversions and events on your pro page. All right, so first step is you're gonna log into your BeatStars account and then inside of My Media, you're gonna head on down to the left side of the menu here and click Pro Page Setup. All right, so this is your pro page setup page. This is where you kind of like customize your domain um, settings, keywords, descriptions, your terms of use, privacy policy, your mailing list pop up. And then this is also where you're going to copy and paste your Facebook pixel and then also copy your catalog link from BeatStars and create a catalog inside of your uh, Facebook business manager so you can track conversions and events. All right, so this is where you're going to input your Facebook pixel. If you've never created a Facebook pixel, you're gonna head on to head on over to your Facebook business manager. If you don't have a Facebook business manager, please create one and associate um, your Facebook page to it, all right? Inside of business manager, you're gonna see um, a drop down that says pixels. So go ahead and click pixels. And then here you're going to see all the different pixels that you've already created, right? And so I already have one here created and I'm just going to copy and paste this pixel ID. Take that copy and paste that right here and save. And so I've copied and pasted my pixel ID, but if you don't have a pixel created, um, all you have to do is add new data source here. So, and then select Facebook pixel. And then go through the process of creating a Facebook pixel, uh, put in your pro page URL or your custom domain name and go through the process of creating fix Facebook pixel. And then, you know, at the end of that process, you'll copy and paste that pixel ID code into your uh, pro page settings. All right, so now that we have a Facebook pixel, now we have to tell the Facebook pixel what to track, what products to treat as conversions and to track events on your pro page. So you understand how your pro page is performing, um, how, how many sales you're getting and all the different uh, data points that come along with the pixel. So you're gonna go back up top here, click the events manager, and then you're gonna go to all tools then inside of here, in all tools, you'll see under assets, a section called catalog, catalogs. Click that. And then in here, you'll have uh, a whole list of catalogs that you've created. Um, or if you've not created any, this, this would be empty for you. So we're going to go ahead and go through the process of creating a catalog. So click create catalog. And the best category to describe your business is going to be e-commerce products sold online. Click next. And then you're going to upload product info. So uh, who owns this catalog? Just select the, the business that you want to associate it properly with that you've created in business manager. And I'm going to call this, for example, producer tracks. And that could be your name. Click create. So now I've, cl I've created the catalog, but now I have to do a few things to get that catalog uh, to properly communicate with my Facebook pixel. So I'm going to go. Um, so now that I'm in that catalog, I'm going to go into product data sources so I can start importing all of my tracks automatically. Every time I upload a beat on BeatStars, it gets added into my product catalog on Facebook. Add data source, add new product, and then you're gonna select use data feed. So this is recommended for stores that have more than 50 tracks, or you can add products in here manually if you like, but we've made the process a lot easier for you. We've created a feed link that includes all of your metadata, uh, track links, prices, different license options, and, um, and all that stuff. So you will use, uh, use data feeds, and then you're going to set a schedule. You're going to select set a schedule. And so it's going to ask you for the data feed URL. You're going to go back to BeatStars. 
copy the Facebook catalog feed URL, go back to Facebook, paste that in. Um, it doesn't require a username or password, so the feed is good. And then you're gonna select the schedule for your automatic uploads. You can set this to uh, automatically update your product feed daily, um, hourly. We recommend daily, works just fine. Um, you could you can name your data feed so it's you can say it's my beat stars beats and your default currency can be selected here we recommend us dollars and then start upload then facebook will communicate with our servers and import all of your catalog of tracks into your uh, facebook catalog some really cool things that you can do with your Facebook catalog that we'll cover in another video. Cool. So once your Facebook catalog has done, has done, um, imported all of your tracks and beats, click done. So now that your catalog has done processing, um, you need to head on over to all catalogs for this final step to make sure your pixel is tracking all the analytics and events to your pro page. So click here under the catalog that we just created. Um, this one was called producer tracks, connect catalog to event sources. So click that and then you're gonna associate that catalog to your pixel that you've created as well too. Once you've done that, click save and you're done. Uh, your catalog will now start communicating with your Facebook pixel that's connected to your pro page and all the information um, that you've been tracking on your pro page will be available in your Facebook analytics, in your Facebook ad account to track conversions. And that is how you set up your Facebook pixel in coordination with your product catalog on Facebook. Thanks. I hope this helped.